Do you like that in-between time, Jonathan, when you have nothing going on, there's just like this big question mark in the air, like what am I going to do, or do you like more certainty? Honest answer, uh, I, I just love working. So uh, if I could go, and I always tell my manager and agent this, if I could go back to back to back to back to back to back to back, that's a vacation to me. I don't really need a vacation time. I love working, and I'm young, and I have the energy to do it, and I just want to put good stuff out there. So, yeah, sometimes it's hard because I want to, like, do everything, but you got to really be, you know, you got to be picky and do the right stuff and, and choose wisely and do stuff that really speaks to you. But at the same time, I'm, I just, I want to work constantly. And why else does it work for you, aside from the fact that you like being on set and you like being around the crew and everything? But you were saying earlier. Yeah, that... I, I feel like everything in my life, uh, you know, all the, all the daily stresses and, and, and anxiety tends to go away when I'm working. Uh, when I can really focus my energy and put all this this positive thinking in, in, into a project and, and it really for me is a positive thing working uh, Then everything seems to always be better for the times that you don't have something going on um, What do you do to drum up either work or your own projects? You know, I uh, I, I, I really like I make my own content uh, I do Shorts and, and and stuff like that. I'll do shorts with my friends. Uh, I like to do martial arts in my free time, uh, I love my dog. Love to hang out with my family. My family's all in LA, so that's really nice. And uh, to drum up work, I mean, I'm just out there like everyone. I'm still part of the audition game out there, auditioning all the time. So that and acting class, I go to acting class a lot and focus on that. And uh, theater, I do theater when I can. So it's just you know, it's I'm I'm trying to do something every day to be better at what I do. I always say you don't go, you know, you don't see NFL players get into the NFL and they stop practicing. I think it's the same thing with acting, and uh, I, I can always get better. Since you grew up in uh, the LA area, you, you probably saw so much happen. I know you're still so so young, but I'm sure you got a great perspective of how this industry works and the ups and downs. What's your take on it? Because you still love it, mm -hmm. and you're still active. Um, is there a mantra you tell yourself? Is there something, is there a perspective that you have that keeps you f feeling fresh about it? Uh, there is a certain lifestyle as far as working and constantly being working and uh, certain goals I have. And I always tell myself, I'm like, I want this certain lifestyle and I will attain this certain lifestyle. I am attaining it now. I'm in the process of doing it. And I do something every day to get better at acting. And I think that there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of stuff that you can't control, but I do everything in my power to control what I can control, and I can control my, my productivity. My, I can control getting better at acting. I can, there, there are things I can control, so every little thing I can do that, that can, you know, put me up there, make, make me a better artist, a, you know, a better person, I, I try to do that. How does uh, martial arts come into play? Oh, well, I mean, it's nice to decompress and hit some shit. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to be honest, uh, you know, it can be really stressful uh, being an actor and not knowing when your next job is. And uh, it's nice to, to go do something that, that I work at and I get better. And, and it's such a tangible thing. Like I do it and I rise through the ranks and you're going to rise through the ranks because you work hard. Acting's not really a, a certain thing like that. It's just you do what you can. But but with martial arts, it's like uh, I think it also keeps me humble because, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I spar, I go really hard, uh, and there's always out, some, out there, there's always someone who can kick your ass. And I think it's, you know, I think it's definitely humbled me a lot because, uh, you know, and also made me more confident in a lot of ways and made me uh, more centered. But uh, it's for decompression and, 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 and humility and, you know, I, some people go to therapy. I, I go to martial arts. When did you start martial arts? Oh man, I started like when I was seven, uh, and I took a while off because I did all the childhood sports like baseball, basketball, and then in uh, high school I played water polo, and then when I, after my third year of water polo, I had some friends who were getting into Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and I had done that as a kid, and I was, just started doing it again, and I fell back in love with it, and uh, I've been doing it since my junior year of high school uh, when I was, I think like 15, I'm like 20, 24 now, so been doing it for a while and then I started kickboxing recently and I'd done a little wrestling too. 
Would you advise other actors to always have a hobby or always have something else? Because it sounds like the martial arts, you can kind of like maybe forget about entertainment yeah. for a while yeah. and just focus on that. Yeah, I think you got to have other stuff in your life, definitely. Uh, it makes you, makes you more whole. It makes you a more interesting person. And uh, I think it's also important to have friends who are not in the industry. Like I have a lot of friends who I just go and I just shoot the shit with and I, I can have fun with and I don't necessarily talk about my career at all or what I'm doing or what I'm not doing or it, it's nice to have that that you know that normalcy right where people see you as, as a yeah, human yeah it's just not like, like oh the dude who goes to my gym you know and uh, the dude I train with not the, the actor or the guy pursuing a career 